Looks like we have a new contender for top Chinese branded smartphone of 2018. Step onto the stage, OnePlus 6. OnePlus is a Chinese brand that keeps it simple, affordable, high spec, and well, awesome. They make very limited phone models year by year, but that flagship device generally includes some of the top tech of the year and is put together in a unique and fantastic way. This year, some things have changed and others didn't. It's time to put this thing up against the Xiaomi Mix 2S, the people's winner from our Huawei P20 Pro versus Xiaomi Mix 2S comparison video. Check the link in the top right to watch that video. I'm Adam, tech editor with Gizmo China, and it's my goal to help you to know which of these two phones are best for you. Make sure to watch the whole video for results over five different sections that is sure to help you pick a favorite. Let's get into it. The packaging and style from these two are brilliant. With the OnePlus box being white with plenty of very bold red accents, while the Xiaomi box is matte black with gold shimmery lettering. Inside both have the phone, USB Type-C charging cables with fast chargers, and a protective case. The only additional item in the offering is that Xiaomi included a USB-C to 3.5mm dongle for wired audio as the Mix 2S has no 3.5mm audio jack, whereas the OP6 still has the old school jack. As for the cases, I do prefer the Xiaomi Mix 2S matte option, which hides fingerprints and eliminates the camera bump if laid down. That said, the soft TPU protective case for the OnePlus 6 has some hefty corner protection and feels really Really fine in the hand. Both phones come in multiple colors with the OnePlus colors being Midnight Black, which I have here, Mirror Black, and Silk White, not to mention the Special Adventures Edition, and the Mix 2S having simply black and white. As for the design of the OnePlus 6, welcome to 2018! Large screen, check. Notch, check. Dual cameras, check. Glass back, check. I could go on and on here. The large screen is fantastic looking with some of the smallest bezels all around. The notch houses face unlock tech which has some style and it's not very wide really. The dual cameras have a special and unique feature that I'll go over later and the glass back still has that signature one plus shape. However, it also lacks wireless charging. What? Plain and simple though, the design of this device looks and feels well made and premium. The ceramic back of the Xiaomi Mix 2S differentiates itself from most phones on the market that use both a glass front and back. Ceramic is heavier and far more scratch resistant than glass with a rating of 8 to 8.5 on the Mohs hardness scale, while glass is closer to 6. However, there is a drawback in that ceramic is a little bit more brittle and prone to crack than glass, so don't drop your Mix 2S. Adding to the feel and comfort of the OnePlus 6 is that it's slightly thinner than the Mix 2S, although slightly taller. Here you can see the dimensions of the two devices, with the OP6 just a little bit taller, wider, and lighter than the Xiaomi Mix 2S. The Mix 2S feels great when making calls or playing games, so it'll all depend on your individual hand size. The button layout is a bit different on these devices with the power button on the right and dual SIM card locations on the left being the only similarities. Above the power button on the Mix 2S is the volume rocker, while the volume rocker resides just below the SIM card tray on the OP6. Additionally, the one OnePlus 6 has the very unique sound mode slider above the power button on the right side. It's a groovy feature that few Android phones include, but far from a deal winner. The main difference in overall layout is the camera locations, especially the front camera. The Mix 2S pushed Xiaomi's goal of a bezel-less phone quite a bit with the decision to forego a notch, like the one found in the OnePlus 6, and instead placed a front-facing camera on the bottom chin area. This, and placing the fingerprint sensor on the rear of the device, makes the chin on the Xiaomi Mix 2S smaller than most that include a front fingerprint reader and allows the display to shine. The rear camera is placed on the corner a la iPhone style, whereas the OnePlus 6 rear camera is smack dab in the upper middle above the fingerprint reader. Additionally, the OnePlus 6 has a notch at the top of the display and a centrally located rear facing fingerprint reader allowing for one of the smallest lower bezels of 
any phone at the bottom. Both have plenty of visual sensors and can do face unlocking. However, the OnePlus 6 unlocking is faster and works in near darkness, something the Mix 2S just can't accomplish. I use face unlock just about every time on the OP6, but use the fingerprint reader more often on the Xiaomi. Both devices have a dual mic system for noise reduction and a single bottom speaker. Neither actually are very loud, but it's time you check them out and decide for yourself. So both the OnePlus 6 and the Xiaomi Mix 2S feel like premium flagship devices with enough differentiation in design and materials to warrant a place amongst the best phones on earth. Let us know which design you prefer in the comment section and don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. When it comes to flagship devices, the screens need to be incredible. I think both manufacturers succeeded with the OnePlus 6 going with a 6.28 inch AMOLED stunner and the Xiaomi Mix 2S sporting a 5.9 inch IPS LCD. The OP6 is a 1080 by 2280 pixel 19 by 9 display that includes a notch while the Xiaomi has a 1080 by 2160 notchless screen. The additional height in the OnePlus 6 allows for the notch and even if you turn on the notch cover up, the OnePlus 6 display is still slightly taller. Both screens have rounded corners, something which I find very much aesthetically pleasing. With that said, the color accuracy for both is excellent with a multitude of options for tweaking both the colors and brightness. The OnePlus 6 has much deeper blacks than the Mix 2S due to the AMOLED display tech and it shows. The shadows of the Xiaomi display look slightly washed out compared to the OnePlus device. I found the OnePlus 6 to have a slightly brighter screen, however they're both fairly bright so using on a sunny day won't be a problem. The Xiaomi covers its screen with Gorilla Glass 4 while the OnePlus 6 has stepped up to Gorilla Glass 5 both on the front and back for more drop damage resistance. Both have aluminum frames, so they're quite well made. Both displays are fantastic overall, with the only major difference being OnePlus 6's deeper blacks and the notch on the top of the OLED panel. Which display do you prefer? Now that we understand the designs, let's get onto the power behind it all. To be honest, they're nearly the same, as both pack the new Snapdragon 845 chipset with an octa-core Kiro's CPU setup and depending on the version you choose either 6 or 8 gigabytes of RAM. For you game and video lovers out there, both come with a sweet Adreno 630 GPU which should push those frames extremely well. Both devices do not offer expandable storage options. The Bluetooth and NFC offered by both is fairly similar. Both have Bluetooth 5.0 which is great, but only the Xiaomi has wireless charging. I'm not sure why this was left out of the OnePlus 6 and its glass back. Both offer speedy, fast Fast charging to full in less than 90 minutes with their included chargers and both last for a long while due to pretty big batteries. A 3400 milliamp battery on the Xiaomi and a 3300 milliamp battery on the Huawei lasts quite a long time. I achieved very similar talk times with both devices, but it seems the OnePlus lasted a little while longer. With these batteries, you shouldn't have any problems using either of these phones heavily throughout a day. As for pure numbers, I tested both devices using Geekbench, and the Xiaomi Mix 2S barely beat out the OnePlus 6 with a CPU score of 2471 single core and 9075 multi-core, while the OnePlus posted a CPU score of 2442 single core and 9045 multi-core. These are basically the same scores as using the same chip should. Both UIs run smoothly and free of stutter or jitter. The GPUs are a little further apart though, with the OnePlus 6 coming in at 13,666, which is a little bit lower than the 14,144 on the Mix 2S. Playing games on either device is speedy, and generally can be done at high frame rates. Let's see in the comments which you feel comes out on top for power. If you're enjoying this OnePlus 6 versus Xiaomi Mix 2S comparison, make sure to press the like button. We'd love to hear your thoughts on which phone you prefer and why, 
in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe to the Gizmo China channel for more smartphone and tech goodness. Both phones ship with Android 8 Oreo, but OnePlus includes the latest 8.1 version while Xiaomi is still at 8.0, which, uh, you know, the 8.1 adds a few tweaks, but otherwise it's the same general interface backbone. Where the differences occur is in the UI skins, with both keeping it simple yet powerful. OnePlus with its Oxygen OS 5.1.5 skin and Xiaomi's MIUI 9.5 rise above many Android skins with slick designs and smooth use. Both offer a standard Android navigation bar option or a gesture option. The gesture option is what I used while using both of these devices, as they're so well implemented, although at the same time feeling a little bit different. Xiaomi's secondary input utilizes a gesture system similar to what the iPhone X has with swipes from the sides and bottom to move you around. I found this incredibly satisfying and fluid. I love this system so much that while using my daily driver, I tried a few of the gestures to no avail, wishing that my phone had the same. Just swipe left to go back, right to go forward, and up from the bottom to go back to the home screen. Swiping up from the bottom and holding takes you to multitasking, or you can just flip apps off the screen or switch easily. I also found the swiping animations are a fantastic addition on the Xiaomi Mix 2S. The gesture system from OnePlus is similar, but in my opinion, not as good. Instead of swiping left or right to go back or forth, you swiped up from the sides of the bottom. I had a few missed swipes because of this. Additionally, it's just less convenient than swiping from the sides. When entering multitasking, there is a very noticeable pause with the OnePlus 6 that actually makes it feel less fluid than the Mix 2S. I do prefer the home layout of the OnePlus 6 and find the multiple weather widget useful for a travel photographer like myself. The OnePlus 6 is simple, clean, and informative, while the Xiaomi is more stylish with the way the time is laid out and minimal additional information. Call quality on both phones is what you'd expect from flagships. Clean, clear sound, excellent voice transmission. The sound quality from OnePlus 6 was slightly cleaner than the Mix 2S, while the microphone on the other end was more clear on the Xiaomi. While browsing the web, I also found no real differentiation while using the same browser. I did not find the onboard browsers to be unique or a difference maker. Which user experience do you prefer? I feel the experience is too close to call, but I'm interested to see what you think with your comments. Xiaomi highlights its mix to us with a fantastic, albeit somewhat common these days, dual camera system. That said, the phone's processing power, software, and options make this an extreme performer. Both cameras are 12 megapixel with one at f1.8 and the telephoto camera being f2.4. On the front is a five megapixel camera that feels like it's there as an afterthought. Xiaomi even put it in the corner like it did something wrong. There are a few options and features which put this phone on a stratosphere beyond just about anything out there, such as the ability to control contrast, which opens the dynamic range for far more detail in the shadows and in the highlights, allowing for detailed creative editing and a more lifelike overall image. OnePlus has done something quite unique with its rear camera array. Most phones that have multiple cameras do so at different focal ranges, generally a normal and a telephoto camera for zooming. OnePlus has a standard focal length 16 megapixel f1.7 main shooter with both optical and software image stabilization, and a second 20 megapixel shooter with the same focal length. Why would they do that, you ask? The second camera is there to assist the main camera in most operations, and does so quite well. The images taken in good lighting come out so sharp and clear, I'd swear they were taken on a DSLR. In low light, meh, not so much. It's still fine, but it just falls back to the pack a little bit. On the front is an excellent 16 megapixel shooter as well, that is far better for all you selfie fans out there than Xiaomi's offering. Both have very clean interfaces, while the OnePlus 6 reaches a level of sophistication I've yet to see on a smartphone. Its photo modes are so well laid out and easy to use, it'll be a surprise if others don't soon try to emulate its design. OnePlus offers only video, photo, or portrait up front, but a quick swipe up and you'll add slow motion, pro, time lapse, and panorama modes on their main camera menu. While Xiaomi has short video, video, photo, portrait, square, panorama, and manual modes. For each phone, the associated settings menu is different depending on which mode you're in, with most settings on screen for the OnePlus 6 and most settings in a settings menu for the Xiaomi. The OnePlus method is far preferred here. Portrait mode is still in its programming and feature infancy and really doesn't work all that great on either phone. The edge detection is okay, 
but it's just not a feature I'd often use with either of these devices. Although I do prefer the OnePlus 6 portrait images a little more. The video options are a large differentiator in my opinion, as the Xiaomi Mix 2S offers only 30 frames per second at 1080p and 4K, and optical stimulation on 1080p only. While the OnePlus 6 throws in 60 frames per second with optical stabilization in 1080p and 4K as well, I found the image stabilization to be excellent on both devices and should really make for some fantastic videos. The 4K 60 frame per second with optical stabilization on the OnePlus 6 is huge. Slow-mo is a feature I tend to enjoy, but these cameras don't disappoint. Both go 240 frames per second at 1080p, while the OnePlus 6 will go to 480 frames per second in 720p. These both make amazing slow-mo vids. Both are clean, smooth, and well-processed to look their best. A huge advantage with the OP6 is the ability to take raw photos in Pro Mode, allowing for increased file information useful in editing after the fact. I wish more phones will go this route as soon as possible. Both of these device camera systems are very well equipped and also have some very standout features. When it comes down to pure image quality and setup, I know which one I'd choose. What is your favorite? Now that we've compared the design, display, power, experience, and camera, and come up with our personal favorite Chinese smartphone so far in 2018, which is your favorite? For me, the winner of this comparison has a user experience that is nearly perfect, with a design that stuns, power to do just about anything with a knockout display, and one of the better smartphone cameras I've used. Picking the right phone for you will come down to which of these features you feel you need. I know which one I prefer, how about you?